Thor number 24 by Danny Cates was published few days ago with this impressive cover, showing Thor and the Asgardians burning Odin's body. Odin sacrificed his life so that his Odin force could become the Thor force and gave his son the power he needed in order to defeat the God of Hammers. Angela then surprised her brother by presenting him with a newly forged Mjolnir, but Thor was even more surprised when the hammer spoke to him in his father's voice. The book opened at Odin's funeral, with Thor, Loki, their mother Freya, Beta Ray Bill, and the rest of the Asgardians mourning the death of their almighty king, the one called One-Eye, the Raving God, the Destroyer, the Dragon Slayer, Odin, the old father, is gone. Warriors from nine realms gathered to mourn the death of Odin, who was a troubled man, a vicious god, and a great king. He pushed Thor to the brink of madness more times than he could count, and was a man of great and terrible contradictions. He was a king with a crown of blood, feared by all, but at the same time he raised his greatest enemy's abandoned child as if it were his own, and granted power to those in need, those he would judge as equals, by the worthiness he saw in their hearts. Odin cast Thor out of his kingdoms more times than he could count, and every time Thor would rage, scream, and curse Odin's name, and every time he would return a better man, a better god, and a better king. When Thor was young, all he saw in his father was the hard man and the stone king, but now, as he holds the Book of Kings, he can see how much his father wept and bled in silence for those he loved, for his people, for his queen, for his sons, and for Asgard. Only the king of Asgard may read the hidden pages of the Book of Kings. That enchantment has been the law and the letter since the days of Titans. But on this day, Thor decided to share some of Odin's tales with Asgard. After telling some of the hidden tales, Thor closed the book and was approached by Loki, who reminded him that it was time to burn Odin's casket. The shaft of the arrow was fashioned from the Odin spear, the spear of heaven. And the bow was a gift as well, a branch from Yggdrasil, the world tree. The arrow's head was made in the eternal flame of Muspelheim, and affixed to the spear, with sap from the world tree. As Odin's body, or what is left from his body, was sent to Valhalla, Thor got prepared to shoot his arrow. He knew what no one else did, as Odin was still alive, and his soul was trapped inside of Mjolnir. Although Thor did not know how, he knew why. It was another test by Odin, some riddle, a game, or a challenge of wisdom. Thor could not shoot the arrow, and asked Loki to do it, but Loki said that this is not what Odin would have wanted. Although it was against the traditions, Loki took the arrow and bow, remarking that Thor did not shoot because Odin was far away, and beyond the firing range, Loki then shot the arrow and destroyed the casket. Later on that night, Thor went back to his chamber, and while he was taking off his clothes, Odin spoke to him from inside the hammer, and told him that he thought that he taught him how to shoot, and was disappointed that he asked Loki to do it for him. Thor became enraged and tossed the hammer away, asking Odin why he was still in there, and why he made him carry his weight, secrets, and his wars for his entire life. Thor could not understand why he was the only one who could hear his father's voice. Why not his mother, who wept for months after his death, and asked why he just could not leave him alone. Odin said that he could not move on and can't go to Valhalla. He tried when his spirit passed and walked to the gates, but they were broken and the great halls were empty, not a soul remained. Odin was still around because he did not have anywhere else to go. In short, Valhalla is gone. 
With this incredible finale, Donny Cates paved the way for the upcoming Banner of War, in which Thor will fight the Hulk. I thought that Hulk could be the one who destroyed Valhalla during his time as the Immortal Hulk, when he used to go to hell through the green door. But I could be wrong. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.